हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एम ऑन टॉपिक इलास्टिक कांस्टेंट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल एंड मैकेनिक्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट अस स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द रेशो ऑफ लैटरल स्ट्रेन टू द लीनियर स्ट्रेन इज नोन एज ए मॉडुलर रेशो B. Poisson's ratio. C. Strain ratio. D. None of the above. Now, this is the basic definition of Poisson's ratio. That is the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain. Hence, the correct answer of this question is A. Sorry, B. Poisson's ratio. Question number two. The ratio of shear stress. to the shear strain is known as a rigid modulus b young's modulus c bulk modulus and d section modulus this is the definition of modulus of rigidity or shear modulus or rigid modulus hence the correct answer is a rigid modulus question number 3 the ratio of direct stress to the corresponding volumetric strain is known as a rigid modulus b young's modulus c bulk modulus and d section modulus now this is also the definition of bulk modulus that is the ratio of direct stress to the corresponding volumetric strain hence the correct answer is c bulk modulus question number 4 the relation between modulus of elasticity e and modulus of rigidity g is e a e is equal to 2g into 1 minus 2 mu b e is equal to 2g into 1 plus mu c e is equal to 3g into 1 minus 2 mu and d e is equal to 2g into 1 plus 2 mu now this is the relation between e and g and the correct relation is e is equal to 2g into 1 plus mu hence the correct answer is b e is equal to 2g into 1 plus mu question number 5 the relation between modulus of elasticity e and bulk is a e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu b e is equal to 2k into 1 plus mu c e is equal to 3k into 1 plus mu d e is equal to 2k into 1 minus 2 mu the correct relation between e and k is e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu hence the correct answer is a e is equal to 3k into bracket 1 minus 2 mu Question number six: If E is equal to 200 kilonewton per meter square, and Poisson's ratio is 0.3, the magnitude of G is a 85.41 kilonewton per mm square, b 90.60 kilonewton per mm square, c 76.92 kilonewton per mm square, and d 78.50 kilonewton per mm square. now the relation between e and g is e is equal to 2g into 1 plus mu if you substitute the value of e and mu you can calculate the value of g and it comes out to be 76.92 kN per meter square hence the correct answer is c 76.92 kN per mm square Question number seven: For a certain metal, if K is equal to two G, then the value of Poisson's ratio will be a zero point two eight six, b zero point two six eight, c zero point four, and d any other value. Now here the relation between K and G is given, so you will have to write the relation between E. and g that is e is equal to 2g into 1 plus mu 
and e and k that is e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu so if e and e are equal that is 2g into 1 plus mu is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu and if you put the value of k is equal to 2g you will get the value of mu as 0 0.286 hence the correct answer is a 0 0.286 question number 8 for a certain material modulus of elasticity e and bulk modulus k are equal the poisson's ratio for that material will be a 0 0.5 b 0 0.33 c 0 0.66 and d 0 0.25 now write the relation between e and k that is e is equal to 3k into bracket 1 minus 2 mu put e and k as equal you will get the value of mu as 0 0.33 hence the correct answer of this is b 0 0.33 question number 9 when volumetric strain is 0 the value of poisson's ratio is a 0 0.3 b 0 0.4 c 0 0.45 and d 0.5 if you write the formula for change in volume upon original volume that is volumetric stress then you will find that 1 minus 2 mu will be 0 because volumetric strain is 0 and when 1 minus 2 mu is equal to 0 it means that mu is equal to 0 0.5 Hence, the correct answer of this question is D 0 0.5. Question number 10. For a certain metal, if the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.25, then the ratio of modulus of elasticity E and bulk modulus K for that material will be. Now, four options A. 0 0.5 b 1.33 c 1.6 and d 1.5 if you write the relation between e and k that is e is equal to 3k into bracket 1 minus 2 mu and if you put the value of mu as 0.25 you will get the ratio of e and k and you will get e upon k is equal to 1.5 hence the correct answer of this question is d 1.5 5. Question number 11. For a certain metal, if the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.25, then the ratio of bulk modulus, uh, modulus of elasticity, sorry, and modulus of rigidity, G, for that material will be. Here again, you will write the relation between E and G, put the value of mu as 0 0.25, you will get the value of E upon G and that value you will get as 2.5 hence the correct answer of this question is a 2.5 question number 12 the relation between modulus of elasticity e modulus of rigidity g and bulk modulus k a e is equal to 3 gk upon g plus 2 k b e is equal to 9 gk upon g plus 2 k c E is equal to 9 gk upon g plus 3k and d e is equal to 2 gk upon g plus 3k if you write the relation between e and g that is e is equal to 2g into bracket 1 plus mu from this relation if you find out the value of e mu in terms of e and g and if you put mu in the second relation that is e is equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu mu will be automatically eliminated and you will get the relation between e g and k and the correct relation comes out to be e is equal to 9 gk upon g plus 3k hence the correct answer is e is equal to 9 gk upon g plus 3k thank you